Hi, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up tonight. It'll be the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves. And this is Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Allie LaForce, our reporter tonight. Hey, Allie. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Trey Young taking motivation from his skeptics, saying, I've had people doubt me and my ability all of my career and all of my life. That's what drives and fuels me. So if I didn't have those people to motivate me, I don't think I'd be where I am today. Guys, he is on a mission. Well, a lot to prove, Allie. Thank you. Looking at the starting five for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Filling in the wings, Edwards and McDaniels. Rudy Gobert is out there with Kyle Anderson. And it's Conley in at the point. And for Atlanta, Hunter is the three with Collins at the four. Young runs point with Murray at the two. And it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. Well, here we are at the back end of the regular season. Brent teams are starting to feel restless, especially the teams outside the playoff conversation. Well, B.A., we talk a lot about teams that have great culture that are winning teams. Sometimes teams that have great culture, this is one of the more important moments where you're trying to finish off the season strong. You want to have guys continue to stay focused. This is where culture might be more important. Gobert passes. 
passes to Conley. Off target with the three. The Hawks trailer. You know, before they moved to Atlanta, the Hawks had a lot of playoff success. They made the NBA Finals four times in their first 12 years, and they won a championship ring. And yeah, recent years haven't been as kind. They're getting back in the mix there. It's been a half century since they've gotten to the Finals. They have some... Some special players on this team. The Hawks fans are, are really desperate to see them compete at that level again. Outside Murray. Takes a 13-footer. And there's Hunter. All oh, the assist by Murray. And hopefully that settles him down after starting the game 0 for 6. Outside McDaniels. Fires the 3. And the Timberwolves hit again from the Wow, their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Young with it. He's picked up by Conley. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Not a lot of plays drawn up for Capella, so his energy and involvement come from that kind of activity there. McDaniels, that's good. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. And Atlanta shooting 33% on the first quarter. Outside Hunter. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Now, this has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Fires in the triple. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. That's the Hunter. That time from Gobert. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Oh, and the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. This has been just a trap for the start for them defensively. Oh, that that good all. So for the Hawks, Akangu is checked in for John Collins, and Bogdanovich is subbed in for Hunter. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Rivers checked in for McDaniel. And Mike Conley picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. 17 seconds left in the first. Outside Young. Can they get it? And the three-pointer goes. There is an effortless kind of motion in what Trey Young can do, especially when he shoots from that. And he got the whistle on the way.
Outside Bogdanovich. Hands it with nobody near him. Great shooting off the pass. Get the feet set. Good balance. Bogdanovich dangerous. Here's Rivers. And another three from Minnesota. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Now a timeout all by Atlanta. Maybe Trey Young. checked in. Noel, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. The Hawks have got two of three shots to go in the second. And Young will challenge your defense from every distance. Right, right. And look, this guy, B.A., has unlimited range, has an elite floater game, and you bring in two guys defensively, and you'll find the option that's open. It's good. Well, Bogdanovich would prefer to shoot it, but teammates so wide open, had to give it up. Pass to Noel from the arc. And another three from Minnesota. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Now here's Bogdanovich. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. Here's Gobert. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Gobert's gotten four this quarter. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. The put back. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. The coaching staff loving the fact that Hunter is getting after it with the hustle. Good effort on both ends. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the NBA expanding its footprint through video games. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there's an opportunity to capture a new kind of fan who isn't currently watching our games but enjoys playing NBA 2K. By learning about the players and the teams, they're more likely to engage in a live product. Brian? Yeah, it goes hand in hand, Alec. Thanks. Pass to Bay. Plenty of space. And it's Gobert with a rebound. I'm shocked he missed that wide open look. He has to feel embarrassed he blew that one. Well, the Timberwolves struck gold by getting the number one pick in the 2015 and 2020 NBA drafts. You are so right, B.A., selecting Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards, respectively. Two important players that have already had a tremendous impact on this team. Here's Noel. Again, the Timberwolves score. This story in the second quarter is much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Inside, and stolen by Gobert. In transition, here they come. Edwards for three. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. To the paint. Here's Bogdanovich. It's blocked by Gobert. A rangy defender with great defensive timing. Why do you think they call Gobert the Stifle Tower? And they're going to have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter. He's hit four three-pointers already today. Now here's Bay. Looking for his first pass. Oh, still in this one. And Sadiq Bay, a three and D wing. And he has the strength to play up at the power forward spot. That power forward spot might be his best position. Not the quick twitch type of athlete. But great physicality for a perimeter player. McDaniels is checked in for Conley. Six foot seven. Wants to play aggressive. Not afraid to mix it up. A good shooter from the three-point line. Sadiq Bey has got a lot of great qualities and a long career ahead of him. And it's Capella with the jam. I draw that one up again. Throw it up. Capella jump. You slam it through. That's an easy two. Pass to Noel. Here's Gobert, outside Edwards, jacks up a three, and another three NBA from Minnesota. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled, and stolen by Edwards. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Young, the pass to Capella. And there it is for him. Capella's got four this quarter. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. 
Anderson can't get it to go. Here's Collins. And Collins with the slam. Way too easy for Collins with ideal positioning. He's a real problem out there. Here's Noel. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. Great job ending the quarter on a high note. Great way to end the quarter there. Team is pumped up. And so it's Minnesota ahead by a mile with a 38 point lead at the end of the period. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Coach Quinn Snyder with us now. And, Coach, a bit of a lull for this team scoring the ball. Why? And it's nothing to do with anything other than us being aggressive. We're like walking the ball off the court. Whoever's got it, we've got to attack. At least effort is something you can control. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. There was no stopping Anthony Edwards in the first half. He had 16 points, two rebounds, and one steal. And, uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? The difference in bench points is staggering. Their second unit came to play tonight. They were aggressive. You gotta figure the starters are loving it, seeing how much work their second unit was getting done. And, Shaq, what you see from Atlanta? They're getting abused in the paint defensively, letting their opponents set the tone. Can't match up physically. You're toast. That's what the small board is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. will tighten up here in the second. This Hawks offense can be explosive when they're hitting. They can work it inside and out. They move the ball well and they run well as a team. Collins plays the four with Capella at the five. The tandem on the perimeter, Murray and Hunter, and it's Young in at the one. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Here's Collins. Pass to Hunter. Murray for three. Can't hit that one. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's Noel. He buries it from three. Noel's got 13. And for the Hawks and their offense, they put up points and take care of the ball, Brent. That's a pretty good recipe, VA. This is a young team, but taking care of the ball and having possessions hard to get through to young players. They've done a great job of that. So is their coaching staff. So this offense could be in a great situation for years to come. Now here's Edwards. 16 points for him. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. And Atlanta shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. There's Young with the three. The shot off that time. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Trey Young. That's his first foul of the game. Mike Connolly's checked in for the Timberwolves. About a minute played here in the second half. McDaniels passes to Edwards. Kept alive by Minnesota. Good work there as it goes. He's got 13. And not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back into gear. That's 3 of 4 from the field. Here's Capella. And the slam dunk by Capella. Using his length that time. Capella up top to slam it down. 90 seconds into the second half now. Edwards fires from way outside. From beyond the arc. And then some. Edwards got six points in the quarter. 
Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball in the end to get guys open at the three-point line. <laughs> you could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. Well, in the 2020-21 season, Clint Capella showed how valuable he can be, Brent. Yeah, he led the league in offensive and defensive rebound percentage and for his career. He's averaging double digits on the glass, but that season, V.A., man, that was ridiculous. Oh, oh, man. Man. The bench, the bench is the oh, Capella having a little bit of fun out there with that dunk. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the Dude, shooter, it has stifled him. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Outside Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. And I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Edwards, a pass to Conley. Fires the three. Ooh, he's found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Murray for three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And Kyle Anderson is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Hey, that's just their first turnover. Overall, they've done a great job taking care of the ball. Akangwu's checked in for Atlanta. Johnson comes in for Hunter. Left side, Murray. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Murray's got his third basket on the night right there. Nice dribble move to get to the hoop for an easy two. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. Don't take possessions like that one. Oh, All the The assist Three numbers points. certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Over to the left wing. Murray from outside. And a slam dunk. Right now, Brooklyn are feeling it, creating a lot of offensive opportunities for this team now. Prince with the bucket. Sorry, and Prince. trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. And Capella gets it to go. It's obvious he's taking it upon himself to try and keep them alive. Pass to McDaniels. And that's out of bounds. Out of Minnesota will retain possession. Oh, nice deflection there. Really trying to disrupt their offensive Griffin. flow. Yeah, I appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Griffin, he's checked in for Trey Young. The shot by Conley, no good. For Atlanta, they've got the 8 of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Here's Johnson. Kept alive. Second shot opportunity. They shoot again. Oh, and Reed with a block. They get it back. And down it goes. Oh, yeah, that went home. Crashes the glass with authority, then puts it back strong. Next level, man. This guy's just going out and making a play. Well, the Hawks shooting 47% during this third quarter. And so he draws the foul and into the line to shoot a pair. And he knocks down the first one. Two shots. And so he makes both from the line. Timberwolves shooting an unbelievable 80% from the floor. Wow, what a performance. Well, he does not lack the confidence, does Austin Rivers. He plays with a huge chip on his shoulder. Austin Rivers. That's and so he hits both. There's 14 seconds left in the third quarter. Murray from outside. Here's Capella. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. Capella's got 20 points. But with a big guy, a little bit of physicality can go a long way. Got inside that time. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Way out of reach with an enormous lead as we head into a break.
Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And a look now at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth quarter. Mike Conley out here with Austin Rivers. Then there's Torian Prince. Then there's Nas Reed. And it's Knight in at the power forward position. And Capella just smashing through the contact on the inside that time. Pass to Reed. Here's Prince. Launches it. Nails it from three. Torian Prince. And they're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Outside Bogdanovich. To the wing, right side. Here's Griffin. And the layup is good. I think a lot of teams worry about Bogdanovich. Obviously that three-point ability, but now he's making plays. Here's Rivers. Yes, great play by Conley to set it up. Conley's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. That's tip. Here we go. And here they go. On the attack, 6 4. Good verts. Rivers can produce at the rim. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Conley against Bogdanovich. Here's Forrest to the inside. And it's out of bounds to the Hawks as Atlanta retains possession. And those checked in for Capella. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Noel, he's checked in for Mike Conley. And Atlanta has possession. And he gets it to go. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Noel, that's good. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense moves it. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. From deep. And another three awesome. for Minnesota. Well, the deep ball accuracy is much more consistent now from Austin Rivers, learning how to be an effective shooter at this level. Here's Bogdanovich. Soft touch off the glass. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Here's Rivers. And the Timberwolves Austin hit Rivers. again from deep. Guys, he can't miss. I swear, he was trying to miss that. He did not miss. That means he can't miss to the middle here's Forrest that one goes oh, that's excellent get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket from deep three point range Rivers shot is off for Atlanta they've gotten six of eight shots to fall during this fourth here's Bogdanovich from down in the low post he comes Bogdanovich has gotten four this quarter. Minnesota has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Prince. Here's Rivers. Defended by Bogdanovich. Rivers, good. Austin Rivers. Rivers has got 26 points. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. The three is up. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. Wow, Prince has a little daylight, and that shot looked true. Atlanta is shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Here's Chuck.
Johnson. Pass to Forrest. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Timberwolves. It's pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> BA, it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And for the year now, they've chalked up 35 wins. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone for the first of all only two meetings between these teams. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Anthony Edwards. Just really loved his activity level here tonight. Constantly mixed it up, and he threw himself into a lot of plays. Down low. And he dumps it. What a pass to Cinema. And where was this type of effort earlier in the game? Unfortunately, this run will be all for nothing. Consistency definitely is a a key to some of the playoff performing teams and tonight they just did not find it in this contest Jerry Prince Prince. with the bucket Three. finishing the game strong this is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback yeah definitely putting a stamp on this one a very very decisive victory for the club tonight they get it back Fernando and he drops in the layup off the glass making the most of that possession unwilling to give up on the play Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Rivers. Off the mark there with a three. Here's Atlanta now. There's the steal. To the paint. Here's Knight. And the shot goes in. And they came in here with some attitude. And it brought out their best play. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight. Getting out on the road. Playing with assertiveness. Confidence. Fully in control for this win. Here's Prince. From deep. Good. During this final quarter, he's erupted from outside the arc. Just assume every three he takes now is going in. And so it's Basso easily grabbing this one. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. A shock and surprise. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Berry, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.